All right, so my goal here is just to draw these pictures for you, give you an idea of these elevation, bearing, depression questions. All right, uh, from the top of a vertical cliff, that's a cliff. Uh, the cliff is 130 metres high. The angle of depression of a buoy at sea is 18 degrees. All right, so the buoy at sea is out here somewhere, and the angle of elevate, um, depression, if I start at the top of my cliff and draw a nice little dotted line, angle of depression is measured from the dotted line down to that so that's 18 degrees all right and so you can see i'm creating like a triangle now a cliff we can assume that the cliff's at a right angle and what is the distance so i'm trying to find that that x value now um because because of the way i've drawn my triangle i can't use the 18 degrees directly I can use 72 degrees. 72 plus 18 is 90. All right, so there's my little picture. You didn't have to do that 72. You could sort of draw on a triangle kind of in the air, but I think it makes it's easier to understand that 72. All right, so next one here, the angle of elevation of the top of an old chimney stack at a point 40 meters from its base is 41 degrees. All right, so chimney stack that's my chimney stack there just draw it as a straight line otherwise it's just going to get confusing 40 meters from its base 40 meters from its base the angle of elevation is 41 degrees uh, find the height of the chimney all right so next A hiker is standing on top of a mountain, here's my mountain, observes that the angle of depression to the base of a building is 41 degrees. So here's my building. The angle of depression, so remember dotted line, angle of depression, 41 degrees. If the height of the hiker above the base of the building is 500 metres, so from height to height, 500 metres, Find the horizontal distance from the hiker to the building. Horizontal distance is just the distance from, here's my hiker here, is the distance measured along this dotted line. So again, you can create your sort of triangle in the sky if you want to, and find this horizontal distance here. Or well, I think it's more intuitive for me at least, is to not draw it in the sky, that feels weird. But then if I do that, I need to make sure that I come up with a complementary angle there and then find that X, which is obviously the same as that X. Um, okay, so there's a drawing. You can work with the sky triangle or you can work with the other triangle. A person lying down on top of a cliff. Teachers use this when they don't want to account for the height of the person's eyeballs. Uh, a person lying down on top of a cliff 40 metres high Observe the angle of depression to a buoy in the sea. They love these buoys in the sea. Is 20 degrees. All right, so here's my buoy in the sea. I don't know what a buoy in the sea looks like. That'll do. Uh, angle of depression. If the person is in line with the buoy, find the distance between the buoy and the base of the cliff. So we're trying to find that x value there. Um, now, again, I'm going to need this. Okay, and then they've got this little, which may be assumed to be vertical. So they're just covering their bases there by telling you the cliff is a vertical cliff. But you can see, basic trick question now. All right, a person standing on top of a cliff, 50 metres high, is in line with two boys whose angles of depression are 18 degrees and 20 degrees. Now, this is very hard to draw to scale, so I'm not even going to try. Um, because these angles are just so close together. All right, the cliff is 50 metres high. Person standing on top. There's two boys there. And when we're drawing angles of depression, draw a straight dotted, that should be straight, straight dotted line outwards, horizontal to the ground, or the ocean in this case. And draw in our angles. Now, important to note, 18 degrees is the smaller angle, 20 degrees is the larger angle. Now again, because I don't like working with those angles, I would probably draw in 
my complementary angles of 70 and 72. Calculate the distance between the boys. All right, so we're trying to find x. If you want to find x, you're going to have to find the distance from here to here using the big triangle. So we'll call that distance y all the way from there to there. You're going to have to find z, which is this, or which is what I'm calling this here. And if we take z, z away from y, we'll know what x is. Although you know the cosine rule, so maybe we shouldn't do any of that. Uh, we can probably just use this angle here. Uh, and we could find these lengths, perhaps. But anyway, you can play with that one. I'm just drawing pictures. A ship sails 10 kilometers north and then sails 15 kilometers east. All right, so this seems pretty straightforward. What is its bearing from the starting point? All right, 10 kilometers north, 15 kilometers east, so that's a longer line. What is its bearing from the starting point? That's the starting point. That's the boat now. Its bearing is measured, don't forget, from the north. So we're trying to find that angle right there. Um, all right. A ship leaves port A and travels 15 kilometers due east. So port A. And then it then turns and travels 22 kilometers north. All right. I've changed my mind. I want A to be somewhere else. Let's put A down there. 15 kilometres due east. 22 kilometres north. So 15, 22. What is the bearing of the ship from port A? What is the bearing of the ship from port A? Okay, so the bearing of the ship from port A is that angle there. Now you can choose how to do that, but I would probably find that angle and then do 90 minus that angle to find that angle. And then what is the bearing of port A from the ship? That's that angle there. All right, so tricky wording on that question. You just need to be careful. What are they actually asking? Okay, so still working on bearings here. We've got a fresh one. A yacht sails from point A on a bearing of 35 degrees for 2,000 metres. So point A, uh, a bearing of 35 degrees, if that's north, a bearing of 35 degrees looks something like that for 2,000 metres, 35 degrees. It then alters to a direction with a bearing of 320 degrees. All right, I regret how long my line is there. Just make a shorter line. Direction with the bearing of 320 degrees. So 320 degrees. I'll draw another north line in here. I find this useful when boats keep changing directions on me. 320 degrees means starting from here and going all the way around to there. Um, 360 minus 320 is 40. So I'm drawing a line like that. 40 degrees. After sailing 2,500 metres, it reaches B. All right, so I really want a line longer than that 2,000 line. Not that we have to, but, like, it just makes our life easier. Uh, all right, and now I'm at line B here. All right, so now it's saying find the distance from A to B. Now, it looks like that's following the north line, but that's almost certainly not the case. Um, so we need to find that distance X. Uh, now, you can sort of play with some angles here. Let me show you what I mean. If I draw in a little right angle triangle there, like that, uh, that would be uh, 55. Now, the internal angles of a triangle add up to um, 90 to, uh, 180 degrees. So this has got to be 35 here. 35 plus 40. So this is a straight line because I drew a north line there. So 35 plus 40 is 75. Um, a straight line is 180, so this must be 105. All right, so a little bit of working here. And of course, if I know that that's 35 and I know that that's 105, mm, 
I can't sort of find this angle because again that red line isn't following north even though I've drawn it badly so that it looks like it is following north. So I'll have to figure out that angle some other way once I know this this side. I probably use the sine rule for that. It says find the bearing from B to A um, and that angle is going to help you find that. All right, next. The bearing of point A from a point B is 207 degrees. What is the bearing of B from A? The bearing of a point A from a point B. Uh, so I need B 207. So B must be like up here somewhere. All right, so there's my north line, and they're saying that's 207. Um, now, this is just what's called in navigational terms a, a back bearing. If you know that the bearing from B to A is 207, if you imagine your boat's travelling along this and they're travelling on a bearing of 207, if they then turn around and start going back the other way, they've turned 180 degrees. So if you want to do what's called a back bearing, you just do 207 minus 180. Um, 27. If uh, 207 was less than 180, you can just add 180. That's, that's it. So question nine. It's not really a picture drawing question, although you can probably like muck around and draw pictures and things like that. But the easier way to do a back bearing is just to turn your boat around. Um, okay. The bearing of a ship from a lighthouse A is 55 degrees. A second lighthouse, B, is due east of A. The bearing of S from B, whoa, wow, okay. The bearing of a ship, S, from a lighthouse is 55 degrees. All right, so I'm going to put my lighthouse here. Oh, it's called lighthouse A, so. The bearing of a ship from a lighthouse is 55 degrees, so there's the ship. A second lighthouse, B, is due east of A. All right, so uh, B is kind of like over here somewhere. Uh, the bearing of S, so the ship was S, from B is 302. All right, turns out I've drawn that pretty well, actually. Um, there's the north line. The angle from there all the way to there, 302. That angle must be 58. Um, and I can draw in a bunch of other angles here as well. So if that's a north line, that's a north line. Uh, from A to A to the ship is 55 degrees, which of course means that that's 35 degrees. If that's 58, uh, this must be 20, 32. And I can calculate that angle, 35 plus 32 minus 180, whatever that ends up being. All right, so again, a little bit of thinking there. Um, a yacht, a yacht starts from L and sails 12 kilometers due east to M. So L sails 12 kilometers due east to M. It then sails nine kilometers on a bearing of 142. 2k. Okay, 142 is um, 90 dirt. It's sort of like that. Uh, nine kilometers. Put in a north line. North lines are really useful. Um, that's 142. All right, so that angle there. Find the magnitude of angle MLK. That's K. Angle MLK is that angle there. Um, now that's 142. This is an east line, so that angle must be 270 minus 142, which is 128. Um, and that 12 doesn't refer to the angle, that 12 is a length, isn't it? All right, that's the triangle you're dealing with, you're trying to find that angle. And from a ship S, two other ships P and Q are on bearings of 320 and 75. So here's ship S. Uh, always draw in my north line. They just seem really useful. 
Um, two other ships, P. So P is over here on a bearing of 320, which means that there's a 40 degree angle there. And Q is on a bearing of 75, which is kind of like that, which means there's a 75 degree angle there. The distance PS from a ship S, so that's, and that was ship Q. The distance PS is 7.5, and the distance QS is 5. Find the distance PQ. Beep. All right. Um, that's all the pictures.